morning, everybody. Um, welcome back. I am so excited to be filming today and to catch up on everything that's been going on, things that I've been loving, things that I've changed around the house, just things that have been happening in life. I'm super, super excited um, to catch up with all of you. And I hope you'll leave some comments down below so that we can really, truly catch up because I do consider you friends. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna go about the day, see what we get into, share some updates, get back on track with each other. As you can see from the intro, I have a brand new one. I'm also filming on all brand new equipment. I wanted to invest in the channel and I just took some time to figure out what I wanted to buy and also do some really clear film planning. Um, over the next four to six months, I think I have uh, a lot of the content planned out, which I've never really been like a planner ahead, but I thought um, I wanted to kind of like reinvest in this. Although that we know that life gets busy and over the last couple weeks I have been swamped. I also got hit with the flu one week and food poisoning. <laughs> and I will tell you the food poisoning was worse than the flu and took several weeks to feel normal again. Um, but yeah, all is going really well. I will update you on all sorts of like things. While we were up and walking around, I might as well show you a few house changes that have been made. And the first starts in the dining room. So if you are following on Instagram, which I will leave all my information down below, I actually changed the whole color of the dining room. It is now this beautiful like shade of pink and we love it so much. And at first when I was painting it, I wasn't positive about it, but I knew I wanted it to be different. And it just lightens up the whole entire space. And it's really, really grown on us. And then I just added like this little fur pink rug over the bench. Then we have this West Elm stool, which you guys have seen in the house for a long time. Yeah, it's just such a cool, cool space. I wanted to tie the pink into the rest of the house. So our house is a lot of blues and grays. So I found this, it's the Novogratz. They make this rug and it helps tie in all the colors of the house and it's just beautiful. And then to help connect it, make it feel a little bit more cohesive, I changed out all the rugs, um, the rugs, all the pillows in here. So this one is from Anthropology. The velvet ones are from Zara Home. That one's the wrong way, which will drive me crazy. Those I believe are from Target. That pom-pom one is from Anthropology as well. And it just helps tie in all the colors. But yeah, we really, really love it. I just think the pink makes it look so lighter. That used to be painted like a really, really dark grayish blue. And we just wanted to change it out. And what we also changed is the color of our front door. So let's go ahead and spy that out. Over the next couple weeks, we're also meeting with landscapers. So do not judge our landscaping because we're getting it all redone because it's a bit of a mess. But that's the new front door. We absolutely love it. These are actually the same exact plants I put out last year, if you remember. And they're still alive and doing quite well. So they're all, all these plants are a year old. Also, if you're fearful of getting like a rodent digging in them, just layer rocks on top of your plants and nothing will dig in them. So, those are some house updates. We will go outside a little later because we've also done that space as well. You can get a little glimpse of the, out first of all, these things. I don't know what to do with these. They're actually getting big. If you know what else I can do with these jade plants to keep them alive, but trim them down somewhat. Can I trim them down? Does anyone know? But they are getting so, so big. And then the outside space is all updated. We'll go out there a little later. That rug actually goes over here, but it was drying out from rain. I also have a couple other projects I wanna work on, but those will come with time. 
All right, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we'll really do some catching up. And then I have a spin class at nine o'clock that I have to get to. I, I just finished my coffee, but I wanted to let you know if I'm sounding really stuffy, um, it's just because my allergies are really bad right now. If you are having allergy issues, you get me. As we know, Father's Day is coming up and I have to share something that I think is going to be a great Father's Day gift. Um, and I think if you get this for a father, they will absolutely love them. I'm actually thinking of getting my dad a pair just because they are so, so great. Um, and they are these slippers. I got mine on Amazon. They're by UGG. They are the most comfortable slippers I've ever had. I mean, I love them. So it is now going on eight o'clock. Yeah, I've just been sitting, watching a little YouTube, catching up. That's one thing I've not been doing a lot of. I've not really watched a lot of YouTube lately. I have to get ready um, for spin class because I wanna get there early so I can get a bike in the back. I do not wanna be one of the bikers in the front. The class that I'm going to is called a beat class. So you go to the beat of the music. If I can film in there, I will with my phone, um, but it's very dark. Um, it's completely black. The lights are synced up with the music and yeah. I try to get in the back because I am still learning how to like do the rhythm. And what makes it so hard for me is she counts everything off by right, left, right, left, and I'm left-handed. So I try to go the opposite and it just gets me all sorts of confused. I mean, I really should not be that confused by it, but I am. So I'm going to get ready for spin. Um, yeah. I still do my Peloton bike. This is just like a class I've been going to like once or twice a week, um, just because it's like a different feel. Um, and one of my friends goes there. All right, so I'm gonna get ready and we'll hit the road. All right, so getting ready. It's very loud. Getting ready to go. Um, currently listening to the Jonas Brothers album. Uh, it's going to be like the summer soundtrack for me. Um, I got my spin shoes, which is great because uh, the studio I'm going to actually is compatible with the Peloton clips. These are the look clips. Um, so it's really great that I can use my shoes and clips. The class starts at nine. I have about 15 minutes and it's not far from my house at all. So we'll get there in plenty. Ooh, it's sunny. Um, we'll get there in plenty of time. All right. That's a lot of look this morning. I actually don't want to be distracted while driving. So I'm going to turn you guys off, but we will catch up right after spin class. I am back from spin. It was so good. She does this thing called moment rides where you like dedicate the song to someone or she tells you to reflect on something. And I literally had tears in my eyes today. It was um to reflect on the person who you can tell all your secrets to, which for me that was Steven. And I ended up crying during the ride. It was just so good. It was so good. Um, and then I ran to Target and picked up a few things that were recommended from friends. Um, and just some other things that I've been loving. Um, so I'll do like a little quick haul. I bought like the most random of things. So here goes nothing. So I picked up some hummus and then my friend Kelly recommended, I have tried the Halo ice cream and I don't love it, but she recommended this Archer Farm brand um, protein ice cream, 340 calories for the entire thing. Um, and she said the chocolate peanut butter was the best, but I also got the chocolate pecan pie just to try. Got some pizza sauce because I want to do some homemade pizzas this week. Jar of jalapenos. I put this in my salads. I put them on sandwiches. I put them on everything. So I needed that. Then I got an almond milk creamer. I showed you the oat one earlier today. This one's caramel. This is my new favorite body wash by Dove. It is like a shower foam. It's so good. Got some turkey pepperoni for the pizzas I'm going to make. Some cheese, some avocado, a pizza crust, some bread the necessities of life. Oh, and I got this really funny card for a friend this week. Um, and it says, Dear Diary, I thought I was just really tired, but it's been five years. So I guess this is how I look now. <laughs> um, uh, and it says, thanks for being a fr uh, judge-free zone. Um, she's one of my closest friends at work and I got her this and a little gift card. But yeah, gonna get this stuff put away, gonna get cleaned up, and then I need to eat something because I'm starving. 
So I have been trying to get this refrigerator organized and I've not been able to find a perfect solution. I found the best bins on Amazon and containers. Um, so I'll show you really quick how I've organized my fridge and freezer and our fridge and freezer has never looked so good. So I found these containers and I'll leave everything linked down below and I found these sets of containers. Um, so here I have all the condiments, like all my like hot sauces, creamers, other condiments in these containers. They're really nice. I can pull them out, grab whatever I need. Even if it's in the back, I could still easily get to it. My Soma water pitchers are there. I fell off my Diet Coke wagon. I have some. These containers, taking things out of their original package makes them last so much longer. So I have some sprouts, some... Uh, sugar snap peas, blueberries, blackberries, um, cut up green onion just to sprinkle on things, arugula, broccoli, watermelon. This I couldn't get through. Stephen bought like an enormous watermelon and I just couldn't get through it. I also have some more watermelon here that's ready to go to like snack on in like a little serving size I can grab and go with me. This is just cheeses, meats. I have some turkey, pepperoni, um, and then some turkey for sandwiches, pickles. I like all my pickled things go in this little corner with my hummus and then my English muffins are just in there. This drawer is for meat and then this is just like other salad greens. So I have some spinach here that I haven't used yet. Then in the door I have a place for all my things. But what I'm most excited about, which I've struggled with these drawers, um, these freezer style drawers is getting them organized. So in this top one, once again, I have those clear bins. So I have my ice packs here, frozen vegetables and fruits that are cut up and some frozen rice. And then like some like acai pouches. These are the best things ever. They're called Johnny Pops. I got them at Target. They're made with all real natural ingredients. Um, super simple ingredients. I really love them. They're gluten free. And then those new ice creams I bought. And then in this one, I have bins again. Um, this one doesn't really fit neatly, but I have protein bins. So these are all our like frozen proteins. I'm trying to get some candles on stuck so I can use the vases. And then just like frozen breakfast items. So I have those waffles there. But everything is so much more organized and I could fit and see what we have in there. All right, friends, we are about to do something crazy, something that I don't do very often, but I really want to lighten my hair for summer. So I got this light ash blonde home kit and we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Also, before we go, this is truly the best self tanner. If you are like me and every other self tanner has ever turned you orange, this Kula sunless dry oil mist game changer for me. Love it, love it, love it. Just ordered my second bottle. I love it that much. This is where my hair is right now. We will see what it looks like when it's done. So, <laughs> I dyed it and it looks pretty much identical to how it looked. It's a little bit lighter, but nothing, I'm looking in the viewfinder, but nothing significant. <laughs> I tried. I mean, it definitely is a little bit lighter. Oh well. It still looks really nice. It looks really shiny and healthy though. I will say that. But really no change. But I like it. <laughs> oh see, you can see def it's definitely like lighter in spots. One question I get more than anything is like, what are you reading? What have you read? Book recommendations. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to share two that I've recently read that I've loved. And then I'm going to share four books that are on my reading list, actually five because one's a pre-order and it hasn't come yet. Um, five that are on my summer reading list. So you can see what I'm going to be reading over the summer. Um, so first book I'm going to recommend that I've read, I've recommended her books before. Nora McHenry, if you've not um, watched her TED talk or anything, look her up. This book, No Happy Endings, it's so good. It's a memoir. Um, it's just a beautiful book. It is sad, but she also finds humor in moments. Um, anyone who's ever dealt with grief, I think all of her books are so profound and beautifully written and vulnerable and funny. Um, I don't know, I just find them really amazing. If you listen to one of her speak, uh, talks on YouTube, you will fall in love with her and buy every book that she has written. I believe she has three out um, currently, so. This one's fantastic. This is her newest, so pick it up. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, some of us have actually talked about this one, Class Mom. 
I couldn't put it down. I laughed so ridiculously hard. I even read some of the emails that this class mom sent um, to Steven and he laughed. Lori Gelman, I've already pre-ordered. It's called Volunteered. Um, it's the next book that's kind of similar to this. Um, and it's on its way at the end of the month, but I can't wait to read it. Class mom, you will die laughing. It's so funny. Now, here are the four books. Um, I'm actually gonna start one of them today. I don't know which one yet, um, that are on my summer reading list and I'll just share them with you. I don't know a ton about all of them. Uh, some of them I picked up just because of other recommendations that I had seen. So this first one is Unwanted Guest and it's from the same person who wrote The Couple Next Door. Um, and I actually shared that one out. It just says, it's winter in the Catskills and Mitchell's Inn is the perfect setting for a relaxing, maybe even romantic weekend away. It boasts spacious whole rooms and huge wood burning fireplaces and a well-stocked wine cellar. It is the ideal for just curling up with a good murder mystery. So when the blizzard cuts off the electricity and all contact from the outside world, the guests settle in and try to make the best of it. Soon though, one of the guests turns up dead. It looks like an accident, but when a second guest dies, the others start to panic. Within the snowed in paradise, something or someone is picking off the guests one by one and there's nothing they can do but hunker down and hope they can survive in the storm and one another. Um, yeah, it is a winter book, but I picked it up just like last week. Um, so excited to read it. I love a good like suspense psychological thriller. The next book that I'm going to be reading is The Beautiful No and Other Tales of Trial, Transcendence, and Transformation by Sherry Salata. Uh, really excited about this. Uh, I'll just read some of the uh, recommendations in the back. This one's by Deepak Chopra. Sherry Salata's Journey to a life of extraordinary success ultimately triggered a transformation to wholeness and healing. Read this book, The Beautiful No, and be inspired to embark on your own journey of emotional and spiritual fulfillment. Nate Berkus wrote, I've always loved deeply personal stories that lead the reader to discover a new way of considering what they believe to be true about themselves. The Beautiful No delivers courage, honesty, and a contagious reflection. And Elizabeth Gilbert, an author in which I love, says, For years, Sherry Salata used her magical powers to work ethic and generous spirit to make, a, to make other people's lives better. Finally, she had to learn how to turn the magic inward. The Beautiful No is a roadmap for transformation, an honest, funny, and soulful look at what it really means to take stewardship over your own experiences. Yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this one. Um, the Beautiful No. The next one, I just, the title is what cracked me up and that's why I bought it. But it is Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered. A dual memoir by the creators of the number one hit podcast, My Favorite Murder. So this one says, Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered. The definitive how-to guide is a conversation between friends Karen Killigariff and Georgia Hardstark about what they've learned from their biggest mistakes, their most triumphant successes, their favorite therapists, and their mutual obsession with true crime, which those who know me know I love true crime. From growing up as latchkey kids to their formative years working at The Gap in Hot Topic to their struggles with substance and mental abuse, Karen and Georgia share a series of captivating stories about some of the most significant moments of their lives. Together they inspect their own hard-earned wisdom with brutal and hilarious candor. Um, yeah, so this is on my summary. This might actually be the one I start today. And then lastly, um, by Mandy Stadmiller is a memoir and it's called Unwifeable. And proactive, fearless, and dizzyingly uncentered in life and love, Mandy Sat Miller spills all while taking readers behind the scenes as she relays her hilarious, heartbreaking, utterly addictive journey. Mandy comes to Manhattan in 2005 looking for a fresh start, and she is newly divorced, 30 years old, with a job with the New York Post. She is ready to conquer the city, the industry, and love in one fell swoop. She proceeds to chronicle her fearless attempts for nearly a decade in the Post, um, Exo, Jane, and New York Magazine. But underneath the glitz and glamour of her new life, there is darker side threatening to surface. The never-ending celeb-filled non-stop party starts as thrilling but becomes terrifying. Too many blackout nights and scary decisions start to add up. She searches for the truth beneath the facade and realizes that falling in love won't fix her until she learns to accept herself. Um, so, Unwifeable is the other book that I'm really into. So, I went ahead and started reading that book. Um, 
the stay sexy and don't get murdered. I am not that far into it, but I love it. I highly recommend it. It's really, really great. Um, yeah, so Steven went to grab a couple groceries that we need for the week that I didn't pick up. And I'm just going to chill out at the house. And a lot of you requested that I put together another playlist. So I have, let's see if we can get this to focus in. You really can't see the text, but it's called Christopher Summer Songs. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So we have a playlist up. I will leave it linked down below. And we're just going to shuffle them. But it's a great playlist. All the songs I'm loving right now and will be my playlist for the summer. I hope you all enjoyed. I really got some sun today. Um, that with the combination of using that self tanner I shared with you. I mean, all right, so I'm just going to clean up around the house a little bit. Nothing that exciting. I have spent some time um, editing the new vlog. It is 20 minutes long. I'm still figuring out the low light on this camera. Um, so bear with me. This is my first bat with it, as well as having a separate audio output and microphone. So there was a couple times where the audio got a little like hazy, so forgive me. It will get better with time, but I am excited to be back. I'm excited to have a plan moving forward. And the next video that you'll see in the next week is a setup and walkthrough of this Louis Vuitton desk agenda. It, I have found a way to make this work and I absolutely love it. So my friends, it has been fun, but I will leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.